I've had maybe 30 of these, various versions. And for many years, they were my worst selling hat, but I still love them and carried them. And now they're one of my best sellers. And because they've got a bit of character, a bit of style, and they give you a bit of a, a bit of panache when you walk around and everyone notices them and they haven't seen them before. So essentially they're a low crown through here, pencil curl brim and flat as tack. Now in order to work with them, there's a couple of things you gotta do. You gotta tune them up occasionally and some hats will hold their shape perfectly and some will veer. Moisture tends to be the major variable. So the main thing you gotta do with these guys is that when you put them on, this here is very low. So what happens is your hat will pop out a little at the top. So what you need to do is to warm it up a little bit. You can put it over a kettle or over a steamer if you're fancy. But if you can put a little bit of moisture on it and then push it down on your head, it will deform a little bit at the top. You can just kind of shape it a little and then you get the nice shape of your head. I usually tilt, tilt my hat. So my popping out area is a little bit on one side. And that's probably the most important thing for getting the New Yorker to sit just right in your head. Now it takes a little bit of practice, but if you warm it up over some moisture and some steam and pop it on your head, you'll see what I mean. It'll just form shape. The next thing that happens is the brim. So the brim, occasionally if it gets wet in particular or if it hasn't been worn for a while, it will expand upwards and it won't have such a sharp little curl. But you can literally just fold it inwards and work your way around and then it will make a very tight curl through the top. And I find it best to do it on a table. Let's see if I can angle this down and I'll show you what I mean. So when I'm working on the hat, I'll squish it onto the, onto the, onto the table and I will just pinch it all the way around. And you work your way around the entire hat and then it will form that nice pencil curl just the way you like it. The other thing that happens is sometimes it's too flat. It sort of pokes up a bit at the front and if you put your thumbs underneath it and just roll them along like that, like you do with a brim on a, any other Panama, and just roll it, you'll get the brim to curl down a little bit. And some people like the brim to, at the back to curl down as well. You can do the same thing there. Personally, I like it a little bit up. Just looks, looks cuter. So they're the three main tweaks you do with a New Yorker. Adjust the crown, adjust the brim, and then get a nice angle on it as well. That ought to do you. If you have a look at that, try it out, you'll get the hang of it. Now steam is not essential for all these processes. You can just do it without it as long as the hat's not dry. But steam will, just a little bit of steam, will just soak into it, make it supple, and then the memory will hold that together. So have a play with your New Yorker and enjoy the ride.